everyone so in this video we are going to go over planes of the head oh <laughs> so um this uh demo tutorial um is basically for uh my drawing students i have a few drawing students that are going to be drawing the portrait and it's good to have a video just on simple planes of the face so normally in class i tend to go over um, the riley method as well as i go over the loomis method which the loomis method talks about the planar shifts of the face <clears throat> And the Riley method is more so rhythm lines of the face. Either or method will get you to a more dimensional um, head uh, than anything else. Um, some students tend to rely on the Riley method because of the fact that it's easier to remember rhythm lines. And some students tend to lean towards the Loomis method because some students tend to see planar shifts a lot more easier so whichever one best fits you comfortable use it um i was trained both ways so i tend to pull out planar shifts when i need to and rhythm lines when i need to and you will see kind of both in the same type of drawing so uh with this video i don't want it to be extremely long but i also wanted to get just a little talk in just a little intro of what i'm going to be doing um so what i am going to do and i think this makes the demo move just a little bit faster um i'm going to uh pretty much do a time lapse of it and then i'm going to do a um uh i'm going to uh, talk over the video the time lapse so in just explaining steps and what i'm doing and i think that definitely helps with the process and just making the video just a little bit shorter than what it is so i'm gonna start drawing and i'm gonna get quiet and i will um talk you through uh the drawing uh so i'll see you at the end of the drawing all right you guys so right now i am drawing the cranium i'm attaching the chin the jaw to it and I am coming in with a generic center line. Now I'm about to break down the face into three parts. So the hairline, the brow ridge, uh, the nose and the mouth and the chin, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so now you can see I got the hairline, the brow ridge, the nose and the chin. I broke it down into three parts. Now, just cleaning up my center line. I'm coming in with my keystone state. And now I am adjusting my brow ridge to wrap around my cranium. And I'm coming in with the front plane of the forehead or the frontal eminence. I know that's not quite the shape, but it's the front of the forehead on the actual cast. So I'm adjusting my drawing. Continue to adjust and keep your drawing light as much as you can. Coming in with the half side of the forehead and the other half side of the forehead. So now I'm coming in with the side of the face. More so the temple area, but the side of the face. And I'm now I'm coming in and I'm measured out where the ear is in relationship with the brow ridge. So the top of the ear is in the same relationship as the brow ridge and the bottom of the ear is about a little bit before the nose. I'm adjusting some of my line work. Once again, allow your drawing to change. So I'm coming in, there's a part on um, the cast where, where the forehead starts to turn. Um, it actually has a weird plane that I'm not sure if it's supposed to be there, but that's how the cast is made. So I'm working out uh, the shape for the cranium. So you guys, when I draw, I move around constantly. I don't stick to one thing and try and get it right. I kind of just get to one thing. If I'm closed, then I'll leave it and then I'll come back and correct it later. So you can see me, I'm just trying to correct some things and I'm constantly trying to move around. And I am drawing from life, so I'm, I'm constantly looking at the object I'm drawing and making decisions. And hopefully they're better decisions than the first one. So getting a little bit more of the, the planes of uh, the cranium. 
trying to get it to look a little bit more like uh, what I'm seeing with the cast all right so I got some of the planes on the top of the cranium forehead top of the head now I'm trying to get the side of the face so this is a major a major major um, rhythm line or you can say a planar shift a simple planar shift um, but I'm trying to get the side of the face, the side of the eye socket as well. Just trying to get it a bit accurate. I always have problems with angles. A lot of my students know that. So I'm constantly changing my angles around. So I'm kind of getting just a little bit of the um, side part of the keystone shape in under uh, the socket. Still working out the side of the cranium just a bit more get a little more accurate and now I'm getting the side of the nose as well as the side of the keystone shape in keep your nose simple at the beginning we already got the top of the nose now we have the two sides of the nose I'm coming in and trying to get the baseline of the nose that's where the nose begin to turn under so you have to draw the top bottom and side of the nose that's important a nose is not just some lines and some dots for a nostril. It's not that. All right, so I got my baseline in and I got the bottom of my nose in. I'm getting a little bit of the turn or the wings of the nostril or the wings of the nose. Just a little bit. Now I got top, bottom, and side of the nose. Now I'm coming in with the muzzle just a bit. His muzzle on this cast is very narrow, very narrow. Um, although I like the cast, it's just a little bit off anatomically just a little bit <laughs> so I got the side of the face side of the cranium side of the jaw in very simple one mass shape bringing in a little bit of uh, rhythm line as well from the ear to down to the chin now I'm starting to adjust my center line it's important to adjust your center line because you want to describe your planar shift so you can see the change of a downward plane of the keystone shape the rounding of the nose the downward plane of the nose the philtrum uh, the outward plane downward plane of the top lip downward plane of the bottom lip is the outward and a downward plane of the bottom lip another downward plane before you get to the chin so his chin is quite small um and that's just how this cast is made <laughs> i don't think anybody has that small of a chin unless you know they got some work done which could happen so i'm getting the canopy of the neck that's happening at the bottom of the neck using some rhythm lines to describe it just a bit and some planar shifts of that canopy now i'm coming in and cleaning up the side of my jaw And clean up some more. There's some parts where I'm just kind of cleaning up my lines and darkening my nines. Coming in with the neck, just trying to get an idea of where that neck is. I have that going. Now I'm fixing the air just so I can get the air to look like what I'm seeing and getting some top, bottom, and sides of the air as well. Now I'm coming in with some line wave variation. It's not a lot of different lines. It's probably like three lines that is different, but um, it gives a little bit more interest to the drawing with this variation. And I'm continuing with my line wave variation. Just everywhere, just thinking about what is closest to me, what is further away, where I can see some softer edges, maybe some lost edges with those lines. Like I said, it's still not a lot, <laughs> not a lot, um, but it's something that's there. So getting more line wave variation, cleaning up my lines. Once again, I'm still correcting as I'm cleaning up my lines. That's still there. And clean up some more rhythm lines, bringing a little bit more in, getting the top of the ridge because you want the top and the side of the brow ridge. Cleaning up the muzzle. This muzzle is very small. It's an oddly designed cast, but hey, it gives us an idea for the planar shifts of the face. 
All right, you guys, so this is the full process of the head. Once again, I am drawing from observation. I'm actually drawing a cast. The cast is not anatomically right, but the planar shifts, the simple planar shifts are there. Um, so as you can see, when I am working, I'm pulling out rhythm lines, I'm pulling out planar shifts, front of the forehead, side of the forehead, the other half side of the forehead. Um, you can see like this whole, process that's here um so hopefully this helps i will see you guys in the next video and once again this is for my drawing students um some of my drawing students are going to go into the portrait and i just want to start them with the simple planar shifts of the head or at least rhythm lines of the head just to help them with the process so i'll see you guys in the next demo bye